Hey, good morning, everyone. Happy Saturday. Rob here for Southwest Florida Television. I guess better late than never, huh? It's about 7.40. I don't know what happened. I overslept. Good morning, guys. I overslept big time this morning. But here we are, getting a little beach time. That's all that really matters, right? Beautiful morning, beautiful morning. About 78 degrees, feels a bit warmer than that. Water temperature is still down around 84, 85. We're at low tide right now. The tide's just getting ready to start coming back in. I'm at Vanderbilt Beach Park down at the south end of Vanderbilt Beach up in North Naples, Florida. Looking up to the north, we do have some rain out in the Gulf. We have conflicting forecasts. One says some thunderstorms starting around noon here. The other says around four. So they both say rain. They just can't agree on what time it's going to start. But it is gorgeous. I look south down towards Clam Pass. I wish you were out here with me. Very peaceful right now. Saturday mornings usually get off to a quiet start. Then things pick up as the morning progresses. Not too rough here, a few little waves rolling up onto the shore. Clouds are beautiful out there. They're storm clouds, but they sure are beautiful. Look at that. Early morning light. Absolutely gorgeous. I figured I might as well get a picture of it. <laughs> Boy, yesterday morning. Did you check out the video that I shared from those early morning colors yesterday? That sky, was, it was so intense, the colors, for just maybe five minutes. They didn't last long. But I mean, the water, the beach, everything was glowing with color. This is when you really want to get out here. You want to get out here between 7 and 8 o'clock if you want to take a beach walk. Take advantage of the somewhat cooler temperatures. We'll be getting up to 90, 92 today. Always feeling warmer than it is with the humidity. Right now they're saying the feels like temperature is around uh, wait, what did it say? 86, 87. It doesn't feel that warm yet to me. But it definitely feels warmer than 78.
Only gonna do one live feed this morning. So let's make the best of it. Hit that share button. Send some stars if you appreciate my efforts. I wasn't going to come out. When I woke up, I was like, ah, crud. And I'm like, ah, I've got to get a little dose of that beach. Get a little serotonin. Whew, that sun is bright. Bright, bright, bright. Right now it's beautiful. Look at these. All this blue. It's supposed to get partly cloudy here as the morning progresses. That's what happened yesterday. The past couple mornings, the clouds started rolling in from the east. Right now, wow, look at this. It is bright over there. I don't see those big clouds like we saw the past couple of mornings. Can't even look at it. <laughs> I just love those clouds. I love the reflections in the water. I just think that is beautiful. What's everybody doing this weekend? Got anything fun planned? Going on any little trips? Any little journeys? Maybe babysitting the grandkids or something this weekend? all the chairs set up for their guests at the Ritz. Putting their towels out on the chairs. I believe they have a convention group in there. Who's wishing they were out here right now? Anybody? Anybody wishing they were walking the beach with me? Stuck behind the shadows of the buildings here. <laughs> have my morning cup of coffee today, darn it. I'm surprised I'm walking.
boy, they sure do put out a lot of chairs with the ricks. I think they split them into two groups today. I see some sunlight up there. Some of that sun on the beach. <laughs> if you're not familiar with the area that I'm at, this is the beach at Pelican Bay, just south of Vanderbilt Beach in North Naples, Florida. And these condos that you see here, they are in, actually it's like a little subdivision in Pelican Bay called Bay Colony. That's a gated community within Pelican Bay. Pelican Bay itself is not gated, but they have little gated communities within it. But Bay Colony is the prestigious place to live in Pelican Bay. They actually have these beachfront condos in Bay Colony, and then they also have on the other side of US 41, they have a very nice golf course community, Bay Colony. So you can have the best of both worlds if you like golfing or the beach, or if you got tons of money, you can have both. <laughs> beautiful, beautiful homes in Bay Colony over by the golf course. is in pretty good shape here. Be smooth walking here. Little piece of hurricane debris that washed up on the beach over here. It's still out there, buried in the sand. Anytime we get some bad weather, rough water, dislodges stuff from the bottom. You see things still washing up on the beach. It's going to be years. So keep that in mind when you're walking out there. Still boards with nails in them. Big tree branches. Very sad what happened with that family. I think I was up in Stewart, Florida, over on the other coast. Mom and dad got caught in a rip current and drowned while the kids, just six children, stood there on the beach and watched in horror as their parents drowned. Undertow and rip tides, rip currents. They're nothing, nothing to take lightly. You really need to do a little research and be prepared and know what to do in case you get caught in one. That was just tragic. Prayers go out to that family and all those kids. Wow. 
verbal. Beautiful. So tomorrow, if I wake up, <laughs> Sundays are usually my Delnor Wiggins days. Hang out up there in the morning, try to get up to Wiggins Pass for sunrise. That's like my favorite place to be for sunrise. Although now the sun's coming up from all the condos, coming up behind all the condos. But it's still beautiful to be there. It's always so serene in the morning, so peaceful at Wiggins Pass. I don't know what the weather is like. It's going to be like, so weather permitting, obviously. The rain that we're supposed to be getting at some point today, there's a 75% chance for showers, thunderstorms. Looks like it's going to be coming up kind of from the south, building from the south. We shall see. the tops of those clouds now. Remember what they looked like earlier? Look at them now. Turning into like thunderheads. Look at that. Got to get a picture of that to share later, the comparison. Hit that share button. Let our beach family know I'm out here. Yeah, like I said earlier, I got off to a late start. If you're just tuning in. I overslept this morning. But I couldn't resist the temptation to coming out here. Only gonna do one live feed though here this morning. So this will be it for our beach time. I'll, don't worry, I'm not going anywhere yet. Still strolling down the beach. Gorgeous. Air temperature about 78. Water temperature around 84, 85. The tide just starting to come back in. Gonna get up to around 90 today. Obviously, it always feels warmer than the actual temperature.
the big drop off. Look at that. Look at all of that. Wow. Huge. Love to get down to Clam Pass next week. I don't know what it's like walking down there. If you can even get down to the pass itself, I just can't imagine them not closing it off down there with all the heavy equipment. And, I mean, it's very uneven ground down there now with all that big equipment, the huge ruts in the beach. Not a safe place to be walking. Yesterday morning up at Del Norwigan's Pass State Park, those little ibis, ibises were so cute. There's about half a dozen of them walking by me during my dose of Del Norwigan's video. Check that out. You'll see them right on the thumbnail. Gorgeous. Might be actually might actually be starting to start to clear up here. Finally, I don't know. Still looks a little on the cloudy side in here. Feels good on the toes. The Plan Pass is probably a oh, mile and a half south of from where I'm at now. Maybe a little more. Way off in the distance, if you look close, you can see those condos sticking up. That's the ones closest to us is Seagate Beach, Seagate, and then. Beyond that is Park Shore. 
And down south of that is the Mormons. The high rises, pretty much part shore. The moorings is older condos, not as tall as those huge beachfront condos like we have here. There's actually some really big ones in Park Shore. Two on sea turtle nests here. The last number I heard, and that's when I walked down to Clam Pass, I don't know, was that Wednesday? It was 147, so who knows? It could be up to 160 by now. Year we had over 300. Last year we had a broke a record. Then we had a storm that Adalia came through and washed a lot of them away, unfortunately. taken off there. down here just a little bit further before turning around. From here down, the condos stop. It's the last condo in Bay Colony. No condos down, well, unless you want to call. They have big villas. There's about a, I don't know, there's another half a mile of buildings, and then there's about a mile of just preserved area, which is beautiful. That's my favorite part of this beach, that's for sure. Absolutely gorgeous. 
Look at how those clouds, the tops have been just sheared off. Look at that. Isn't that amazing? Remember there were big, almost big puffy balls when we first came out here this morning? Now yeah, they've just gotten sheared off. Very cool. On. You gotta take a picture of those clouds again. It'll be interesting to look back at those three photos to see how they've changed throughout the morning. I didn't get my hour of beach time this morning before I do my live feed. I usually, usually get out here around five o'clock in the morning. But my Internal alarm clock was not working properly this morning. <laughs> no more condos blocking the sun from here down to Clam Pass. That's just bright sunny beach. Definitely warming up. Wow.
a boat out there on the horizon heading down to the left to the south. glorious morning in paradise, my friends. I so do wish you were here. It's an amazing blue sky. Look at all that blue. went dark on me. Boy, my screen almost, is almost black right now. I don't know what happened. I'm hoping I'm still here with you. <laughs> Homes over here, the homes of Bay Colony. I haven't seen any of our little white ibis friends walking along here yet. few more footsteps down to the south before turning around. Good morning. This is all private beach over here on the left. It's for the folks in Pelican Bay and Bay Colony. You can walk down here to Clam Pass, but obviously you can't set up any beach gear. Plus, you have to drag it all the way down here. It's a heck of a walk. I rarely ever see any of these people that live here sitting on the beach here. You'll see them at their two, three little beach clubs. But the folks actually live right here on the beach. The condos, yeah, in season you'll see some folks out on the beach. But these houses, I don't think I've ever seen anybody sitting out on the beach from these houses.
There's one of our little white ibis friends. I don't know where the rest of them are. That's a small one. That's a small little ibis. Glorious morning here in paradise, my friends. I wish you were here. Glorious. Share this beauty with your friends. Hit that share button. Start walking back up the beach, back towards Vanderbilt Beach. Back up towards civilization. <laughs> If you enjoy my morning walks and, and the other little things I share on Southwest Florida Television's Facebook page, photos, videos, if you appreciate my efforts, send some stars to my videos. I get a penny for each star that you send. You can send those to any video. It doesn't have to be a live feed. Tips always appreciated. Remember, I do depend on your generosity, your kind souls, your big hearts <laughs> to make ends meet each month. I do prefer those tips over stars. No Facebook fees involved with the tips. But I'll take what I can get. I do thank you. You can find a link to my PayPal account in the description of this post if you'd like to send a little token of appreciation. You can also find me on Venmo and Apple Pay. Thanks for hanging out with me. Just thanks for being here. Sharing, sharing, sharing. That helps out a lot. Amazing how quickly it warms up. When the sun gets up in the sky above the rooftops.
little bits and pieces of red drift algae along the beach down here. Nothing much. Really, I've seen a couple little clumps of it out in the water. Nothing like it was. Oh, what was that? A couple of weeks ago, it was pretty thick. One little white ibis so far. Hmm. sound. It's a, like a lullaby puts you right to sleep. The lullaby of Mother Ocean. I just get lost in the moment sometimes when I'm walking along here, just lost in thought. Very easy to do when you're out here on the beach, you and Mother Nature. Especially on a morning like this. Can't get over that sky. I love it. I just love that deep, dark blue up there. It's just heavenly. Absolutely heavenly up there. Well, we're going to see what forecast is right. Is it going to rain? Noon or four, or somewhere in between, or never. <laughs> it's amazing how different the forecasts can be. But they're all right on one thing, it's warm. It's going to be a warm day. 
That feels like temperature probably going to be close to 100, if not 100. Good day to come, good morning to come to the beach and get out in the water. Cool off. I haven't seen any more fishermen reeling in stingrays, but I think it's still stingray season. I think they're still out here looking about. So just be on the lookout and do your stingray shuffle when you're walking out in the water. I've still got a couple videos from yesterday that I have to post on YouTube. I forgot about my YouTube family yesterday. I think we had a nice walk this morning, don't you? I think this helped take the edge off of Saturday morning. Anybody watching in bed? Anybody laying in bed watching? Hey, I don't care where you watch from as long as you watch. And I know some of you actually listen. I think we're getting close to the end here for this morning's live feed. Sorry for being late. I do the best I can. I'm only human. <laughs> One of our friends reminded me of that this morning. But I love my beach time. I love my beach family. I wish I could just pull you all through your phones and tablets and TV screens and bring you out there with me. See that little star down there in the left hand corner of your screen? Tap on that. Give it a tap. Send some stars. Send a tip to my PayPal account. I sure would appreciate it. I'll go up into the next shadow and call it a morning.
Look at how those clouds have changed. Isn't that amazing? Go back and look at what they looked like when I first hit the beach. Two puffballs out there. Now the wind has just sheared the tops off them, stretched them out all the way down to there. Look at that. That's amazing. Right, my friends it's gonna do it for our saturday morning beach walk thank you so much for hanging out with me if you happen to send some stars or a tip today thank you very much but above all just thanks for being a friend god bless you share 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 help spread the word and share the love southwest florida television bringing wonderful people just like you together in the mornings one beach walk at a time and until next time, stay safe, stay healthy, and stay strong. Tally-ho, everyone. Tally-ho. May God bless you, your family, your friends, your fur babies, everything and everyone in your lives. And God bless our wonderful country. God bless America. For Southwest Florida Television, I'm on stand. Tally-ho. Tally-ho.